funny how if you're having a gathering with Jehovah Witnesses, let's say at someone's house, and people start speaking about certain places that they want to go, trips that they want to go to, hotels, the best restaurants, the best sightseeing or places to see in that particular city or country or state, you know, they will readily tell you to look it up. Go on the internet. You got your phone? Go on the internet. Check it out. And, you know, you can get all the information, all the accurate information you need. Right? But as soon as you research something about the organization, then that same internet, that same Google transforms into Satan somehow. Right? It's like, where did you get that information? The internet? You looking on the internet for that information? Yeah. The same internet that gave us that trip rating or that hotel rating or that restaurant rating. Yeah. The same, same, same internet. It wasn't two different internets. No two different Googles. Not the Jehovah Witness Google. Same Google that gave me that information. But being that it's not beneficial to you, the information that I research about the organization, now it's where are you getting that from? Are you looking at things on the internet? Then it becomes the almighty evil internet. But everything else, you want to look for a mechanic. You want to look for a sale on a certain handbag or whatever. The tache cases you like to walk around with. Inter internet is perfectly fine right and they always think that people are out to just destroy them right there's some people are and shout out to those people um they always think that people are just like that there are things that are just not public record they they're not aware that things are just public record just like if you want to get facts on a specific building or you know or when a certain company was formed form uh, formulated or you know who owned it prior and all of this information like there are certain things that's just public record you know it's like so when you research the organization and you see the Calvinistic roots and Charles Tate Russell and you you know the the the, the craziness behind him and all of these things then it's like oh you're looking at the internet yeah, the same internet that um, you wanted me to look at when you wanted the rating on that restaurant, you know. Remember you wanted the good steak? You said, check the internet. Like, they could be lying, right? Anything that you research on the internet could be lying. Whether it be the hotel, whether it be whatever you look at could be lying. Except the things that are beneficial and the things that you know, speak highly of the organization, then, yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're telling the truth. But the other stuff, nope, it's lies. It's all lies from apostates, you know? And that's just, you know, in life in general, like, you know, people that can't take the good and the bad, the criticism, you know, it's got to be all good. I'm going to wonder about that company or that person, whatever it is, I'm going to wonder about it. It's like, there's got to be a downside to anything in life. There's got to be the opposite spectrum, you know? It's a wonderful restaurant, wonderful, oh, the steak, ah, delicious. The sides, not so great, but it's, it's good enough, right? There's always a downside to everything. But not the Jehovah Witness organization, not the Watchtower Bible Tract Society. It's like, no, you cannot say one thing bad about us. And if you do, it is not true, right? It's the internet. You're, you're looking at things on the internet. Well, how else will I've, we find out information? Everything is not firsthand. If I want to look at something, you know, from 1929 obviously wasn't around at that time like wh 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 where am i going i'm going into books the internet 
Like, what? You know how you sound? Right? It's crazy. It's crazy, but, you know, I'll just leave it there. You know, it's just, it, it just amazes me that, you know, they say anything that you want to find out, go to JW.org. Oh, okay. Okay. So if I got a gripe with Walmart, you know, hey, you know, just speak to uh, the executives at Walmart or Walmart employees. I can't have an objective view on your corporation from the outside. I got to speak. Like, what kind of sense does that make? Well, read the Walmart man manual. It's almost like somebody writing an autobiography. You know, read the autobiography. You mean, you mean the stuff that somebody wrote about themselves? Right? You mean the stuff that they could have possibly left out about themselves? So they're going to have a, a really objective self-view on everything. Some people do, but why would I do that? Why would I go to the other, the person themselves and say, hey, I just wanted to know, were you a, you know, a womanizing thief? You know, you get some people that say, yes, yes, I was, but I changed my ways. But why would I even want to go to that person? I would go to the family, the friends, you know, the, the, the co-workers. I would go to those people to find out what that person was really about. Because maybe they have an objective view on them. You know, that's not a conflict of interest. But they will readily say, go to JW.org. Oh, so I can get the truth about the organization? Right? The objective truth about the organization? Okay. That makes sense. It's psychotic, almost. But I'll leave it there. Hope everybody have a wonderful rest of their day. It's a little past midday right now. So we got a little bit of sunlight left here on the East Coast. But as I always leave you, I want to leave you with this. Think. Think. Love.